is a little round planet of a really nice guy. Paulina. Seems like lately I'm just surrounded by smiles, Benita. Coochie and Coo really seem to love their new home. Oh, especially their big brother and sis. I'd forgotten what a joy it is to have little ones around Housley. <laughs> Look at this, Coochie and Coo. This is my favorite game. It's called Boinky Ball! <laughs> Fun. I could hear this frolicking all the way in the garage. Oh, isn't it sweet, Sweetums? Oli and Zoe just love showing the twins all the big bot tricks they know. Tea for Coochie, tea for Poo. Huh? See? You're supposed to pretend to drink it. Like this. <laughs> <laughs> Tea parties will be easier when you two get bigger. <laughs> bigger? Don't we love babies little? <laughs> I got a few tricks up my sleeve, too. I bet the twins would get a kick watching their old pop at work. Now you see, Coochie and Coo, someday when you're both big bots, you'll be tinkering away, too. <laughs> Glad you asked, Cooch. It's called a magnetron. Now, this red button controls your electromagnetic appetizer and whatnot, while this blue button amplifies the relativity and rearranges the something or others. And this lever here... Well, I forget what that does, but enough talking. Let's start tweaking. <laughs> Red scratcher, sprocket socket, owls, wild dog on doohickey undoer. But my hard working boss might like some tummy tickling milk. La 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 la. Zoe, Zoe! Spot walkie talkie? It's me, Zoe Oli. I got zapped into Spot's body. Oli! Oli! Yeah, Zoe. Your brother's a dog. And I've got fleas. Poor Oli. Me tell mommy. <laughs> Oli funny. I don't think it's so funny. Spot, I mean Oli, I mean Spot. Get that yucky thing out of your mouth. I mean my mouth. Oli, your mom and I sure could use a hand in here. Daddy? Yep. When I wasn't looking, the little grabbies fooled with the magnetron. Pulled a switcheroo on the whole poly family. Except for Zoe. She was playing outside. Kids, we've got to get the magnetron reconfigurated, but your dad and I are too teeny to reach the controls. Not much I can do with these paws. I guess it's up to Zoe to restore proper poly polarity. 
Okie dokie, cool daddy. Ooh. Better hurry up. Ooh. Ooh. Getting close to our nappy, nappy time. time. Look at Coochie and Coo. They've switched bodies with Mom and Dad. No, no, Daddy Coo. Mommy Coochie, that no rattle. We've got to get him out of the garage. It's dangerous for little ones, and it's super duper dangerous for big little ones. are a handful. Me miss little babies only. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like they're hungry, and now they got extra big tummies to fill. <laughs> One more bite, little big babies. <laughs> Do something, Zoe. Spot's getting more baby food than the twins are. Whoop. Big baby's mess, mess, messy. Me want Coochie Coo little again. But Mom and Dad have to tell us how to fix the magnetron. <laughs> They're still taking their nap. <laughs> oh, no! <sighs> oh, heavens to Bitsy! Those big babies sure made a mess. And I'm a little cranky from my half-finished nappy. Uli, you and Spot keep an eye on the twins. Come on, Zoe. Let's get that magnetron humming. Whoa, Nelly! Whoa! Me carry coo, Daddy. Phew. This way, Mommy. That's right, sweetums. Atta girl. Now one more tweak of the electro up and backer, and we'll be back in the right bot body. Oh, goodness gracious! Oh, I'm one messy mommy. Spot thinks you're yummy. <laughs> Golly, I don't ever want to be a dog again. I can't get the taste of slipper out of my mouth. <laughs> Love, mommy, daddy. Who can cool little again? Oh. So we love, love, love little babies. We all do, sweetums. Because there's nothing like little ones to make a big, happy family even happier. If you two are wondering why your mom's making so many lug nut butter and jiggy jam sandwiches, <sighs> well, I'm making a picnic lunch for Cookie Kite Day. <laughs> Cookie Kite Day is the day when all the kids in Polyville build the silliest, silliest kites and fly them in the park. Huh? Uh, Wowee! Sounds like a super duper windy day. When, when, when? are gonna fly extra high today. Hmm. No windy only? Fade not so. Looks like even the butterfly could use a breeze. Whoa! whoa, whoa. <gasps> <gasps> Everything's okie dokie, kids. Just working out the kinks in my weatherator. Guess I need to recalibrate the blow sizer. Gosh, Dad, this invention is super G duper neato. Well, thanks, son. Just dial up the weather you want, and presto, the weatherator will serve up a breezy, blustery day for kite flying. Oh. 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 Oh.
y'all better get the kinks out of your weather reader, Sonny, because I got a hankering for kite making. Yay! <laughs> Wouldn't be a kooky kite day without you helping us make the kookiest kite of all, Pappy. <laughs> Looks like we got all the fictions for making a kooky kite. <laughs> oh, looky who we got here. A couple of Jim Dandy helpers. You think they're big enough to help out, Pappy? All the ponies can pitch in making a kite. What do you say we get these kite fictions down to tiny tight level? Okie dokie. <laughs> <laughs> Squirt a little glue here, Zo. <laughs> Whoopsie whoopsie. <laughs> Easy on the squeezy, Zo. Oh, you big bots are doing a humdinger of a job on that kite frame. Thanks, Peppy. So, now can you help us pick the shape for our kite? Reckon the twins need a little more Pappy help than you big bots do. <laughs> <laughs> How's about you two work on the big part of the kite whilst I get the babies going on the tail? Geez, oh, Pappy's always helped us build the kite. Pappy no help us? Guess not. But how we make kite, Oli? Well, if we're gonna have a kite for Kooky Kite Day, looks like we gotta do it ourselves this time. Oli, so we big butts. Hey, I know what shape we can make our kite. A big pickle. <laughs> Whoa! Dragons are neato, though. Flutterfly? A butterfly! That's the bestest idea yet! <laughs> uh, hold your horses, Coochie. We're not ready for painting yet. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, looks like this weather radar could stand a tad more tweaking. <laughs> Let's make the butterfly blue. So we like pink. Pink, pink, pink. Well, we both can't have our favorite color. What we do, Oli? I don't know. Maybe we should ask Pappy for some help. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> Whoa! Come here, there! Whoa! Hmm. Maybe we should figure this out on our own. Pink and blue. Pink and blue. Great idea, partner. A pink blue flutter bite. <laughs> I mean, butterfly. <laughs> oh, that's one splendiferous tail, Bitty Bots. Whoa, there you two. Oh, tarnation. <laughs> Somebody pasted down my patootie. Now, where is that doggone weatherator? <laughs> Found it. Almost finished. Me too. <laughs> this kite is cute, cute, kooky. <laughs> Funny flutter by. Jumping Jupiter. I've never seen a kite as kooky as this one before. <laughs> and I've never seen a butterfly with a rattly tail before. Thanks, you two. Without your help, we never would have come up with a kite this kooky. And you and Zoe never would have figured out just how good you are at kite making. How about that, Zoe? We did it. Kooky kite! Yay! 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 Oh no, I wonder what happened to the wind. There's not even a whiff of whoosh. Don't worry. Wait till you see my dad's new weatherator. Most people only flap their gums about the weather. Percy Polly's gonna do something about it. Yes, indeedy. Now that I've rejiggered the woozy doodle, calling up a gust of wind is a breeze. <laughs> uh oh. Looks like we got our own little wind makers. Grab the strings, oh! We're going kite flying! Wendy, Wendy, Wendy! Bye bye, Flutter Bye! Let's get our kites up in that baby butt breeze. I'm right behind you, Billy. <laughs> 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 
Look at those whirly gigs go. Now that's what I call a couple of weather eating twins. <laughs> With Gucci and Goo around, every day's a sunny day. Super excited about going bowling today, huh, Dad? Steve Rack, son. Mom and I haven't rolled the old orbs since the twins came along. Whoopsie! <laughs> Guess I'm a tad rusty. <laughs> oh, doozy of a gutter ball, hon. And you're a dilly of a twin tucker in us, Nookums. <laughs> oh, oh. oh, thanks. They're both sound asleep and ready for the sitter. So we're gonna twin set coochie coo good. You're a swell big sister, Zoe, but you're not quite big enough to baby bot sit all alone just yet. Aww. Dad's right. But don't worry, Zoe. I'm gonna let you help me a lot. Oh, that's sweet, Oli. But I'm afraid you're not old enough either. So, who is gonna twin sit? <gasps> Where are those twin grinning tiny tacks, huh? Old Giz is ready to rumble, huh? They're still asleep, Uncle Giz. Well, that reminds me, Giz. I've made a list of twin tendon tips in case anything comes up while we're out. Well, not to worry, little bro. I'll baby bot sat Oli and Zoe tons of times. Well, I'm Giz, the baby bot sitting whiz. Hmm, uh, can't hurt to take a peek, Giz. Sitting twins is a tad trickier than just watching one bot. Yeah, okie dokie. Now you two skedaddle and roll some strikes from me, uh-huh. Have fun. Bowly, bowly, bowly. Bye, kids. Be good bots now. What do you say we go take a gander at our snooze and snuggle bunnies, hmm? Good tippy toeing bots. Good sitters know not to wake up the nappy time too soon. Great balls of fire! Baby oh, bots at 10 o'clock! <laughs> Oh, I'll be a monkey's uncle. Oh, make that two monkeys. Two flying monkeys. Oh, gotcha. Careful, Uncle Giz. Holding both twins at once. Whoa! Can, um, kind of unsprung your springs. Uh-huh. Well, I think it's time old Giz taught you two a game only and Zoe used to love. Uh-huh. Hey, okie dokie, babies. Uncle Giz, fun, fun, fun. Welcome to the Gizomatic Baby Bouncer, huh? Um, Uncle Giz. Well, don't worry, Oli. You and Zoe will get a turn. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. What is there, Koo? <laughs> well, not now, Spot, old dog. Giz has got a cranky Koo to calm down. Uncle Giz, Koochie likes bouncy rides, but Koo doesn't. Koo rock. Bye, baby. Well, no problemo. I got two knees. Well, aim to please. Introducing the Gizomatic Baby Bouncer and back and forth. Or, you know, I could do this all day. <laughs> okay. Well, maybe not all day. I gotta say, two baby bots sure give the old knee gears a double workout. Maybe we should try a game that doesn't take so much zing out of your spring. Oh, yeah, good doggy spot. Hey, I got it. Well, how's about a game of peek a bot? McGill style. <laughs> hmm. Coochie don't cotton to peek a bot, huh? No be sad, Coochie. See, Uncle Kiss, sometimes what's a funny face to Coo is kind of scary to Coochie. Coochie like this face. <laughs> well, oh boy. I'm starting to think you two are better at sitting twins than the Giz is. Thanks, Uncle Giz. I guess twins take twice as much figuring out. Coochie hungry. Coo, too. Well, Giz knows what every little bot likes. <laughs> Yummy tummy towel time. Let's check out what's chillin' in Chile. <laughs> All righty, bot tots. Who's up for some Gizmo grub, huh? 
Well, now, just hold on, hound dog. I'll feed you as soon as we top up the twins. Now, who is ready for a loving spoonful of Chef Giz's carrots, huh? <laughs> who no like carrots, Uncle Giz? Who likes peas, not carrots? Just like I like lug nut butter sandwiches, and so he likes jiggly jelly sandwich. <laughs> I'll see what you two mean about twins being twice as tricky. Yup. Even though they look the same, sometimes Coochie and Coo like different things. Whoops. <laughs> Wrong bot. Yay! <laughs> you were right, Buckaroos. Coochie loves a slide ride. And a nice slow roundy round ride makes Coo's frown upside down. See? Koo's favorite game is ball. And Coochie is a ball. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'd say we're all having a ball now. So sleep, baby, sleep, yeah. It's nice to know there's one thing every baby bot likes. A nappy time lullaby. Ole, Zoe, the giz can't thank you two enough for showing them the ropes today. Well, next time I'm twin sitting, I want you two as my super duper helpers again. What do you say? <laughs> well, you two sure earned a snooze. Okie doke, Spot. Let's see what you got there. Well, here's a twin sitting tip if Coochie and Coo get you in a tizzy. Just ask Ole and Zoe, the bestest big brother and sister, for a helping hand. <laughs> well, I'll be. Well, now you tell me, Spot. 